And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Lee Sin. All right, I know this doesn't have any of the new champions and it's the first day, but I really wanted to play an Ionia deck because I think that the biggest winner of the uh, newest patch, patch 211, is honestly Ionia. I think that turning twin disciplines into being a two mana card is just like, I don't know. I think this is going to be a big deal. I think this is going to be huge. Like, being able to get three additional health for only two mana, there's just not anything else in the game that's like that. You know, like, every all the other two mana cards are, like, plus two health. Um, I think this is going to be huge for Ionia. I really do. Also, now, Will of Ionia. Of course, back to four mana. Another thing that I think is going to be huge for Ionia. And so I think Ionia is going to be a big-time winner of this uh, patch. Not gonna lie, I really do th think so. So we'll see. I think Lee Sin's gonna be very good. The thing is, is like even if Ionia is great, like I expect Ionia to be pretty great after this update. Um, it's gonna take time, first of all, because you know, like Ionia is gonna be a reactive region, and so you, like that's gonna take time to like figure it all out and everything. But even if it is like you know one of or if not the best region right now. I think that's kind of good, right? Because Ionia has been terrible for a while. And I think that's good that, like, they can, like, switch stuff up. And, you know, like, we had, you know, Targon was great, then Shirima. You know, Bilgewater was awesome, but then Bilgewater was unplayable, right? Like, it, like you know, I like that they kind of switch up, like, which regions are really good and, and things like that. And then, you know, nerf some regions, buff up some other regions. Let's uh, kind of keep the game fresh like that. So it could be Ionia's time to shine. Um, but let's see how it does. Let's see how three mana, or sorry, two mana Twin Disciplines looks. And three, or sorry, four mana Will of Ionia. Um, you know, we'll see that how that goes. All right, so we're, I wanted to play a Lee Sin deck, and there's a lot of ways to go with it. I decided to go with Victor today, which Victor is not great against Will of Ionia if people do start playing a bunch of Will of Ionias everywhere. Um, that's not going to be good for Victor. But for today, we're going to go with, with Victor. I'm not expecting a bunch of Will of Ionias immediately. Um, but we're going to try this with, like, different created cards. Because I want to play Fallen Feline. And, uh, you know, because this card's awesome. So we're going to have Fallen Feline Time Trick. I also thought that, like, Fallen Feline plus Dancing Droplet, you have, like, two one-drops that you want to, like, retreat return, that you want to, like, bounce. So, like, that helps your retreat returns, your homecomings, that kind of stuff. Um, I did... I, I had too many cards that I wanted to play. So I did end up having to cut one homecoming and one retreat return. So that's only four cards that bounce. So we're only playing two Dancing Droplets for that. But yeah, Fallen Feline, you know, like it's a summon ability, right? So you can put it back in your hand, put it back into play, and get in that other summon ability. Um, we'll have three time tricks. Now you may say, okay, like so some people think that you have to play a ton of prediction cards for this because you do put it in the bottom ten cards of your deck. And you may be thinking, well, I only have three prediction cards. So like why would, you know, like why am I playing like, like, why am I focused so much on this Fallen Feline that puts the Hexite Crystal in the bottom 10 cards of the deck when I only have, like, three ways to find it with a time trick? Two things. One, predict, even if you don't see it in the predict, it does shuffle your entire deck. So, therefore, even though the, the Crystal goes in the bottom 10, once you play the predict card, it's all shuffled. So, maybe the very next card is that Hexite Crystal. So, you may draw that Crystal, you know, next. So, once you predict then like all those crystals are live even if you don't like draw it from your predict but second with ionia we get to play deep meditation deep meditation just draws two spells and those two spells can be any spells in your deck and so you can you can have a hexite crystal at the very bottom of your deck play that deep meditation and suddenly it is in your hand so that's another cool thing about ionia anyway let's get to it let's see how this does We'll be, you know, having our created cards with Ballistic Bot and Death Ray being created and all that kind of stuff. Let's let's see how we do here with Victor Lee Sin. Okay, so Ezreal Karma. Let's get rid of this card. And we'll keep the others. I like the plus zero, plus three from this Twin Disciplines against... Um, against Ezreal Karma. Looks like the opponent wasn't too happy about their hand. Time any more time. Mm. 
fallen feline. Wow, I'm really glad I waited on that time trick. Now we have two crystals that we could find. Okay, didn't find either crystal. We have bot or deep meditation. Both good options. The bot. Alright, not great, not great. Am I using retreat on one of these? That's, yeah, time winder with the bot. Like that's perfect. Um, is obsolete. This is gonna be a long game, <laughs> Karma Ezreal. Yep, this is gonna be a long game. Got to get that spell count and to create a card count up for both of our champions. You assume that our opponent's running Funsmith? I don't think so. I, I don't think our, I think our opponent's just playing like full on control with like Eye of the Dragon, Ballistic Bot, Ezreal, and Karma. But I, I don't think there's any Funsmith in here. I don't think there's any kind of that kind of thing. Well, I was going to be playing Lee Sin this round, but... And so, yeah, I did not play Shadow Assassin because um, spell mana is very valuable to have, especially when you have cards like Retreat and Twin Disciplines. Regeneration. And plus, like... Shadow Assassin's like the perfect card to return as far as retreat return goes. And so just like having that in my hand to retreat return is like pretty awesome. So that's doing six. I can just give it plus zero plus three, considering it has their like if this doesn't have regeneration, I'm probably going retreat return, but with the regeneration, I'm going with the twin disciplines. And I don't want to trade Ballistic Bots, considering we have Victor and we really care about like those creative cards. Can you improve perfection? Not having a tune on the Dancing Droplet does definitely hurt the, the Droplet. I think it's still good enough though, but it definitely hurts it. Yeah, basically that's it. Yeah, recalling Victor is better than Victor dying. It's not amazing because you reset your um, credit cards, like your your keywords, I guess. Only had tough and a regen for keywords. Alright, so both of our champions are leveled up now. That's a good call. They wanted me to not be able to have deny mana available. So that's their second thermogenic beam. I assume they're not playing like five or six thermogenic beams. Probably not playing that that many. Challenger, challenger, challenger. Oh, overwhelm. Boo. I will play my part. Save the 
Yeah, that's the thing is Victor is not great against Will of Ionia, and my opponent is most likely playing Will of Ionia, you would think, being an Ionia region. So that's one reason why you want to see that spell shield. They just wait. That was just normal inside of ages. They're just playing inside of ages. All right, Kuma says so. Hawk. So in lore, Karma got brainwashed and turned evil. I think we're getting evil Karma skin in the game. I could definitely see that. I I imagine every champion's getting a you know getting a, at least a skin. So I could, I could certainly see that. All right, so if I homecoming that, I can just use another uh, removal spell. I don't think I want to play this homecoming. See if they have another Mystic Shot. So I, I want to do this right now because remember round end, I guess round end they get to create like that random spell and so I don't want to allow them to be able to create a random spell that easily. since leveled up. A wise retreat. That's a good draw. Sight firm. Prepare yourself. Because if they just simply go karma after this. No karma. What is when you return Ooh, deny is always good in this kind of matchup. Elusive. I got two more leasons and a, and a victor in hand. <laughs> We got a lot more champions in hand. Which chance? So question is, which champ have you liked the most, Echo or Pike? Um, I have, I've liked Echo more so far. I couldn't believe whenever we play the games that I, I didn't realize that the um, Echo spell, like when, whenever you level up your Echo, you make those three, three mana, harrowing type cards miss. Missed call type cards in your deck. I couldn't believe that those brought them back for good and not um, not ephemeral. I guess I just was kind of under the impression that they were going to be ephemeral. Could open attack instead of doing this. I don't know why I'm not just scout attacking. Probably should be. It does make, like, so leveled up karma makes deny useless, right? Because every spell's doubled. So deny doesn't do anything. 
that's why I probably should have just gone in. I should have just opened attacked because of leveled up karma making deny useless. Because obviously I could do the Lee Sin, uh, this thing to give plus two plus zero. Lee Sin to make Lee Sin six. We got two mana left. All right, that'll do. Lee Sin kick. And we are one and oh. I thank you, Dragon. You're welcome. Elise Heimer Kindred. Okay. Those are some cards, I suppose. Probably a good deny matchup. I only have like the one deny. Maybe we should be keeping that in the deck. Um, we of course don't really have like a, a dancing droplet hand. Didn't really want to keep that. I don't know exactly what Death Ray is doing here. In current timelines, I also just don't know what's going on. <laughs> so we'll play the Fallen Feline. Into Ballistic Bot. Oh, well, I guess that's going to change, isn't it? I was going to say, like, that 3 one, that's a perfect card to, to uh, Death Ray. Oh, man, Averroes and Sentry is great. I say that every time I see Averroes and Sentry, because it always is true. Keep this going. We need to cast seven crazy cards for Victor, eight spells for Lee Sin. What's up, Dancing Droplet? Um, skip. I <laughs> don't really need any of those. Hey, Victor. Victor's good. I guess that was the problem with me not holding up Twin Disciplines. And plus, I should just hold up Twin Disciplines anyway because of Lee Sin. So yeah, I, I should just hold up. I should just save my mana. That's me being impatient. End of the day. That was not good. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Or should have been patient. Sorry. I was impatient. Sorry. What's up, Just Flosif? Yeah, I'm doing great. New patch is incredible. Safeguard our homes. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. We shall say no. So that's what they're keeping their seven mana up for last round. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Join me if you want to live. I really messed up by having my victor be vulnerable. Because both Vile Feast, Mr. Shot, there are so many ways for them to kill my 2 1. Go hard. There's just a million ways for them to kill that thing. Mm. 
That was awesome. I don't want. Strike for prepare yourself. Oh, that's not going to give my lease in. I'm not going to be able to do the Dragon's Rage thing. Ugh. All right, well. Yeah, that was that was kind of bad by me. I should have played the ignition and just done it the slow, slow way. Should have just done that. Let's see if we can kill this thing this way. I think we gonna kill it. Alright, so I messed up a few times this game. Definitely not played this one cleanly. But we'll see if we are able to finish it out anyway. They're down to four. Ruination's always a worry with this this kind of matchup. Wait for that thing to attack and then recall it. Never the other. Maybe better just to recall the Kindred. Even though they can replay Kindred. So therefore it doesn't mark either of these other two. Yeah, I think this is the play. First spell? No, not a first spell. I gotta do this. I wanted to open attack. But with Lee Sin, like, this is just the play. My lands need me. Center your spirit. Looking good. Yeah, they're looking good right now. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. I smell prey. Your lesson begins. I don't know. Can I go down to one? I guess so. I messed this game up twice, right? Like with with the, the victor 
and with the Lee Sin after that. I should have had this game, but... I messed it up twice. I messed that game up twice. That that's it's gonna go down in the record book as one and one, but the deck was definitely good enough to win that. Like that that should have easily been a win. That was my fault. <laughs> so like, you know, when you're looking at the deck, you know, the record later on with the games, that one was completely my fault. Except for I messed up twice. So we're one and one. You know, that's that's part of the game, right? Like that's that's I uh, you know, not gonna play perfectly all the time. One and one. Not a good opener. Oh, both the droplets against Thresh Nasus. Let's keep one droplet. And we'll get the others. Yeah, it's true. Lease index are usually kind of a little bit on the difficult side to play. I don't like my chances here if they just have a really good hand, which it looks like they do. I don't have that ability to stop what's going on right now. Like, if this is Merciless Hunter, this is over. Even if it's just open attack, it's pretty over. Merciless Hunter is definitely over. Alright. So, you know, Thresh Nasus is still going to do Thresh Nasus stuff. But we should definitely be 2 0 right now. Good him. Right. I, I would think you'd still play Doomkeeper. Good hand, opponent. Alright, definitely should be 2 and 1 right now. But, gotta let it go. Alright. <laughs> As you tell, I hadn't let it go yet. We gotta let it go. I'm probably not playing enough card for cards for these droplets. Well, saying Doomkeeper is a bad version of House Spider is... It just isn't productive, right? House Spider is not... House Spider's a Noxus. You can't play a Noxus card in a Shadow Isle Shurima deck. That doesn't matter. Like, that shouldn't be part of the conversation. I think I'm going to go in with, with Victor here. And therefore not with lease in round five. So round five, I'm just gonna be playing more creative cards. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Trying to level up this victor. It can be undone. Make haste. Okay. 
think I need to keep up the Will of Ionia in case they do have another time bomb since they had that last one. This would have been a good spot to have, you know, the Spirit's Refuge and heal the Nexus back 10. Okay. So no Will of Ionia needed. Join me if you want to live. I like that they're just kind of like throwing away these other units that would have been good open attackers. I'm I'm very glad they're blocking. Sorry, Ballistic Bot. Oh. That's a level up zillion. That's not good for me. That's not good for me. Extend your senses. All right, so we both have both of our champions in play. We got a champion battle. Do they have removal for, you know, four damage? <laughs> you know, do they have four damage removal? You still gotta show me how to ride that thing. Why? It's not like you ever did anything for me. Super T says, you guys better be prepared for a Rek'Sai LeBlanc deck. So Rek'Sai helping out with a reputation. All right. Yeah, so we got 20 overwhelmed with the victor. They can block with. You can block with enough to stay alive. I think we're supposed to bounce. They were supposed to bounce the zillion, not give them the free cards from the zillion. Oh no, they can't stay alive. If I, if I do that to Zillion, that actually is lethal. Never mind. <laughs> I thought they could stay, still stay alive at one. Never mind. That was exactly lethal. Yep. Jinx with Freljord. Is this going to be Poros? Is it going to be Howling Abyss? If it's Howling Abyss, Homecoming does bounce a Howling Abyss. I don't know exactly what to expect here. I don't mind this hand, though. I'll just kind of keep it. No champions, sure, but we got one drop, two drop. And then two brand new buffed up spells that are both very good. Alright, so it's not Poros. I think we have determined that. Order rewards its faithful. Joke debate. 
Yeah, Mono Jinx Freljord. Looks like... I don't know. Looks like stuff's happening. That's about all I got right now, is that stuff's happening. <laughs> no, we're, we're in ranked right now. Oh, they got the Enraged Yeti first card. That never good. No reason to homecoming that thing when it costs one mana. So we shuffled. Okay, put that in the deck. So we shuffled that two mana deal two to everything card into our deck somewhere. Avalanche? Breathe in, breathe out. So it's in there somewhere. Okay, so it's an Elnuk Yeti, whatever the other thing is, Poro, Elnuk Yeti Poro deck. That's playing this right now because it's the second spell to be able to get the Dragonling. So. Yeti, Poro, and Elnuk. And they drew another one. That means they have three Yeti, Poros, and Elnuks. Oh, that kind of makes sense. Okay, okay. Um... I'm gonna shoot that. We're going to Twin Disciplines kill one of these 5-5s. Five fives. Of course, take, take the damage first, then heal the Nexus. First create a card for Victor right now. I fight with the dragon. But doing that to make this lease in for power. Okay, only one spell for me that round, right? Yeah, so no draggling. Ah, the Abominable Guardian. Play, draw, Yeti. Very nice. I mean, I could bounce it. It does cost 8 mana. So maybe I should be bouncing it. I like that Dancing Droplet draw with Retreat and Homecoming. MK3 out of here. It is time. 
All right, down to six. What is when you wow, another homecoming. That's so good. Yeah, because they won't have two. They won't have two readies. Yeah, two yetis. Brown star be able to play this guardian. A lot of guardians. Poor guardian. So that was the card they drew for round that mystic shot. We got bounce spell meta. A little harder to play eight drops. Ooh, Hexite Crystal. That card's cool. Go infinite. Infinite time tricks. Yeah, Delphina says I feel bad for the opponent. I know, I kind of kind of do too. It's it's rough just getting your cool yetis, your cool A-cost yeti just bounced over and over, but that's what Riot wanted to do with four mana Will of Ionia. Yeah, so this deck definitely felt strong, <laughs> you know. Um, did play against, you know, a little bit of nonsense there at the end, but went three and two, really should have been four and one. I... Uh, had two pretty bad misplays in the game we lost. Um, yeah, wasn't patient, you know, and that's that's the thing. Got to be patient playing Elise and Ionia deck, and I wasn't at all. Um, but yeah, I think it looked good. Now, you know, like, is this like a finished product? No. You know, like this kind of deck that, you know, does have a good amount of interaction, so we got to see, like, what other people play and what other interaction you want. You know, maybe you're going to end up wanting, like, Mystic Shots instead of Death Rays, for example. Um, I do like how like the death rays are created cards and things like that like whenever you, you uh, are going to have those for your victors and they just kind of give you some more cards because your mana like when you play victor your mana is really at a premium because you want to spend mana on the hex core upgrade every round you want to spend mana on the ignitions every round because you want to play those uh, created cards and so having one mana deal one, two mana deal two, three mana deal three, like that really does help out your mana of like, you know, usually these trade up, right? Like a three mana deal three usually trades at the four drop, you know, like, and so on. And so like, you can really trade up mana wise with those. And those keep giving you more and more spells for having cards like your draglings and things like that. So they're pretty good. I like the death rays, but you know, maybe depending on what happens with the metagame, maybe you don't need them. Maybe they need to be mystic shots. Um, Fallen Feline was pretty good. Not like spectacular though. I could see, I liked the, the time trick though. Time trick looked good, but I could see even not playing Fallen Feline and just playing like three droplet, three retreat, three homecoming. I could, I could honestly see just going back and doing that and just not worrying about the Fallen Feline and just taking all three of those out. Yeah, honestly, because because we're both retreat and homecoming are both awesome, and especially with the droplet. So, I that's that's honestly probably from like looking at these games, like that's probably where we're going um, next time we play to just kind of go all in on like this, you know, this bounce stuff because it's just so good. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Victor Lee Sin. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of new Twin Disciplines, new uh, Will of Ionia or any of the other new stuff. Also, let me know, what do you wanna see on the channel? What do you, what kind of decks do y'all want me to play? What would you be excited to see? Let me know y'all on YouTube and I'll get it done. There's like a hundred new decks that I wanna play with, you know, like there's so many cards changed and everything like that. It's gonna take some time to get through everything, but we're gonna keep on going at it. We'll be playing our four decks a day and we'll play everything that we can. But that's gonna be it here for Victor Lee Sin. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.